Taliqua by Susan Jackson. Taliqua is the name of the orca female who mourns the death of her calf for seven days and counting. It's Cherokee for two is enough. Our character is Leslie, the mother of a teenage daughter, Victoria. Location is Victoria's bedroom. Leslie is sitting on the bed. One more day. <laughs> Isn't that from that musical? You know, right before they all march? No, no. It's one day more. I can't get that one wrong. You kill me. Mom! <laughs> we saw it when you were eight. Eight? Yeah. My darling. Randy says, I have one more day with you before we put you away in boxes. He didn't say I have to give you them away, not yet. That'll come, I, I know he says it will. And after all, he's the expert. Uncle Randy is a dandy. He sang that to you when you were little. I never asked him why he chose his profession. You'd think I'd have asked that by now, but I didn't care about other people's reasons until I find one for this. I hope you like the way of this pillow cover's new. Two, no, no, one month ago. And the chair was recovered in fuchsia because I knew you'd like it instead of pink, turning 13. But I told you that already. Sometimes it's hard to remember what I already told you. <laughs> Your dollies. I couldn't bring myself to put them in the closet. I see, I changed where they were. I took them off the bed yesterday before I left your room. Good surprise. They're with your new books for eighth grade, and the new backpack school starts in August this year. Stop. Randy says, stop talking. It'll be easier. And I've limited my visits once a day. Instead of twice a day, instead of once an hour, instead of hours and hours and hours and hours. Oh God, Mrs. Payton's looking up at us. Such a nosy bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I said that you love it. Probably it said to her when I'm not around. <laughs> Was she looking up here when? She is a nosy bitch. Randy says she's probably lonely. She's only by herself, but that is not an excuse to be miserable to other people. She was nasty even when Happy was around. She says he died, but I think he left. I asked her how come she didn't have kids, and she said, two is enough. You wanted to know why they didn't, because everyone we know has kids. And your new outfit for your first day. Everyone's doing yoga, so I went online and got this amazing pair of leggings that has a top with a whale on the back. An orca. <laughs> you were sad when that mother whale swam around for seven days carrying her Calf. Pup. Calf. You told me she bites the baby's flipper and pulls it up. We looked it up and found out that the baby sinks because oh, it doesn't have enough of a blubber layer. The mother dives down, and picks it back up, and brings it to the surface seven days of up and down and up and down. Mom, they know the calf is dead. They said it's a grieving or a ceremonial thing she does. They said she doesn't want to let Go. <laughs> She's probably lost two other calves since her first baby seven. No, they said eight years ago. Uh, you always wanted to get the facts correct. We watched it on TV for days. You said, I think she's saying something. I asked what you thought the mother whale was saying and you said, you, you, you said that, what did you say? I, I can't, I can't remember. And, and, and then when we had the baby blue jays and one of them, we, we said it flew away, didn't it? Didn't it fly away? We never saw feathers, so it must have made it out. God, it had a, it had a little crest on its head, so, so we knew it was a boy. Three weeks, you watched that nest. I, uh, before breakfast, <laughs> after school, even at night, you did your homework by this window so you could keep your eyes on it. And... Oh, there's Mrs. Peyton again. I'm not going to let her get away with it. Hey! Hey, what are you looking for, huh? There is nothing to see up here. Go back to your garden. Oh, no. Oh, that wasn't a nice thing to do. She looked shocked. What's come over me? I, I, <sighs> and shoes. <laughs> Your, your feet have grown, so 
I got shoes that don't look that big. Your feet are just fine. It's one of the things that grows fast when you turn 13. Your feet, your nose, and your skeleton. But it all catches up, I promise. That is not in a book. That is real. Randy made me read the latest book, made me sick to my stomach. I, he tries to be helpful, but like you said, unless there's pictures in it, why read it? Isn't that what she said? I must get the words right. No, I uh, know you said no pictures. Why read it? <laughs> yes, that's right. I wish you'd kept a diary. Then I'd never be at a loss for words. Hey, that's an idea. That's something tomorrow. Move things around some more. It's not under your bed or in the drawers, but maybe, oh, maybe there's a secret place. When you were watching the whales, you said, sometimes they look like a silver, a silver, a silver wave. <laughs> silver is your next diffusion, favorite color. That'll be your next new shoes, silver. Stop. Stop talking. Randy says to stop planning. Yeah, the whale has a pot of people. <laughs> I mean, orcas. <laughs> they all hang out with her and some even carry the pup. They, they don't put restrictions on her. They don't say things like one more day and stop talking and it's time. They don't hand out books with no pictures. Oh, she's still there. I'm sorry, Miriam. That was uncalled for. You have a lovely garden. I've been looking at it a long time now. I, I like your roses. <laughs> Thank you. There. That's better. I think I might be ready. <laughs> Call tell Randy. <laughs> Uncle Randy is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember now, my darling. 
you said <laughs> the mother whale was saying, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> and Victoria will put your shoes away. <laughs> <laughs>